Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through Limgrave East. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Right here, we're going to hop on Torrent. We're going to come around the shack here. There's a little pathway. You can pick up all this gold-tinged excrement if you want. We're just going to follow the path around. And then we're going to hop down right here. And come over to these graves. Now I'm not going to put any markers down just yet. Because we don't have the map for Limgrave East. As soon as we get the map I'll start placing markers for everybody. We're going to hop up with Triangle. Grab ourselves the Fevers cookbook. more golden runes and now we're gonna go meet Kenneth Height. So let's just run over here hello is anybody there someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false oh Tree. Grant me succor! Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... that's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, Young Tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool and plumb mad to boot, simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Let's go ahead and hop back on Torrent here. We're going to hop down here and grab an item. This is going to be magic grease. Just be careful for all the dimmy humans. And then we're going to head northeast down this path. There's a troll off in the distance. We're not going to bother with that troll. We're actually going to head north here. And hop down into this river. Be very, very careful. There are a ton of wolves and a rune bear fighting. We just want the smithing stone too right there. And a few Trina's lilies. I'm going to run back down this river here. We're going to go into the Third Church of America. Let's go ahead and touch this grace real quick. No, oh, this thing. Eh, hopefully it flies off. 
We're going to pick ourselves up a sacred tier. That's going to allow us to get more health back whenever we heal from our flasks. And then right here we get the wondrous flask of physics. And we also get a crimson crystal tier. This is a very useful item. Or flask. I mean, I guess it's an item too, but... Real quick, we're going to increase the amount of health replenished by our flasks using the sacred tier. And then right here in Mix Wondrous F Physic, you're able to mix two different crystal tiers. Right now we only have one, but we will get two more before the end of the episode. So whenever we come back to the third church of America. I'll go ahead and uh, show you a little more on that. But for now, we'll just put the crystal crimson tier on real quick. Let's go ahead and talk to Melina. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika. Who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Let's go ahead and leave the grace. We're gonna hop back on Torrent. We're gonna come down this path and veer off immediately and follow the shoreline here. Want to be careful for the crabs. One big one. He's going to um, have our attention anyways. But more importantly, we want to get the attention of this crab. Now we're only getting some white flesh. So if that's not important to you, don't even bother coming right here. I'm going to come up here. Come down this path. We want to grab our wolves out here in just a minute. Right here, if you touch this, a ghost will come out and lead you um, to different items and stuff. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm just going to bring everybody to the items anyways. But if you want to touch it and uh, use it, go ahead. Nothing wrong with that. Right here, get the map of Limgrave East. Be careful for this bear. Want to grab the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 4. And then real quick, we're going to pull our wolves out. And let this bear and the wolves fight. While we... Oops. I thought he had the attention. Or they had the attention of the rune bear. Oh my goodness. This did not turn out good. Go ahead and grab these items here. Grab this item here. <laughs> and run back to the rune bear that's scratching on the tree. We're going to go up this path and run away. Go 
Go ahead and heal yourself here. So right here is the Sof Sofria. I think it's Sofria or uh, Cyphera. I'm not sure. I can't really pronounce this um, well's name. But we're going to go down this elevator in just a moment. But before we do, let's go ahead and look at our map. And the first thing we want to do is put a marker right about here. And then we're going to put a marker right about here. And then our third marker will be right here. Fourth marker right here. And then our fifth marker right there. So let's go ahead and go down this elevator. And it is a very long elevator. So I'm just going to meet everybody when we reach the bottom. So I'll see everybody at the bottom. All right. We finally made it to the bottom, everybody. So the reason we came down here. Maybe it's Cypher or, or Cifro or Cifra. Maybe it's Cifra. I think it's a, a Cifra. <laughs> I know that's random, but it is very hard to pronounce some of these names. Let's go ahead and touch this grace. That's mainly why we came down here. Because eventually we're going to have to explore the Sifra River or Siofra River. We're going to touch this summoning sign, activate it, and then we're going to head right back up the elevator. And again, I'll meet everybody at the top. All right, we made it to the top of the elevator. Such a long elevator ride, everyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out here. We're going to hop on Torrent again. We're going to go by this minor Erd tree. And we're going to grab ourselves two tiers. And then we're going to ride to the second marker. But if you look closely, you can see that there's a scarab, a silver scarab. We're going to run towards it. Go ahead and kill it. And we get ground slam. Over there where those bats are is where we're going to be going. But before we do, we're going to veer off to the right here. You don't have to get this item if you don't want to. It's just some thin beast bones. And even over here where these bats are, if you don't want to get this item either, it's just... A uh, golden rune one. Let's go over here. We're going to crouch. Be very careful. There is a bear over here. A rune bear. So stay crouched until you get to this treasure chest. Grab yourself a smithing stone too. And we're going to come around. For this golden rune too. And if you look up. That's who's howling. His name is Blythe. And we'll meet him a little later into the video. Right here's the rune bear. Be very careful not to wake him up. Oops. We accidentally stood up there because I dropped off a ledge. By the way, if you drop off a ledge, your character will stand up. So just repress the L3 button so you can crouch. We get the axe talisman. We're going to stay crouched and go up top. And then we're going to head to marker four. So let's go ahead and get on torrent. Right up here, we're going to hop up these rocks and grab ourselves a sacrificial twig. 
So a sacrificial twig, what that does is if you die and lose your runes, you can use that sacrificial twig to make a run back to your runes. And if you die while running back to your runes, um, you won't, those runes won't be lost. So you'll be able to run back to them again uh, for another try. Pretty useful tool. Let's go ahead and run to the merchant real quick. Right here. We're going to veer off. Ah, oh, welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please. So you're going to need at least 3,500 runes uh, for the Armor's Cookbook 3 and the Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook 5. I'm not going to worry about buying any of this other stuff here. It's not really important to me. Maybe I'll come back later on and buy it off camera, but for now, I'm just going to leave it where it is. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. We're going to get rid of this marker real quick. And then right here. We're going to put a marker right here is going to be a marker and then right about here is going to be a marker and we'll put I guess one more marker right here. So let's hop on torrent. going to head to marker one. There's going to be a land octopus down here, but really isn't going to attack you unless you stand there. Grab this rune. Be careful. There's a ton of wolves over here. Just grab the runes and run. You don't have to kill these wolves. If you want to, you can. Feel free. And then let's uh, get out of here. We're going to run to the marker three, which is going to be by a grace. Let's go ahead and rest at this grace as well. And then we're going to hop back on Torrent. And right up here is going to be the hard part of this area. Well, the hardest section that we've come to yet. Thus far. Be careful, there is a pumpkin head. That is coming down the stairway. I would just back away so you don't draw the pumpkin head's attention. This guy right here that's two handing a sword, you can get a second Lord Sworn sword from him, great sword. It's uh, very rare, but you can get it. 
Hopefully you have better luck than me. Right here we're going to pick up our first golden seed. So we'll actually be able to upgrade how many flasks we'll be able to use. Go ahead and get this guy's attention. And then right here we have a pumpkin head. There we go. I took the hit so I could kill him. Gives us a sanctuary stone. He drops that pretty regularly. He can also drop his head and his weapon as well. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. And then we're going to run over this way. Be very careful. You're going to have guys throwing firebombs at you. Be careful for these barrels as well. They are exploding barrels. Oh my goodness, these rats, I'll tell you what. The rats are the real annoying part. It's not even the guys throwing firebombs. I mean, they're annoying, don't get me wrong, but not nearly as bad as the other guys. And then up top, we have a few as well. Press the wrong button. I want to pull out my torch. Right here, we're going to get the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6. Put our torch back away. And then real quick, before we go up the stairs, let's pull out our wolves. We're going to need them. They're going to be very useful at the top here. Because we're going to have a pretty strong knight. And they will... Distracting. Okay, well, that is not what I wanted. Take that guy out. Don't forget to be grabbing um, as much material as you can. Here's the knight. Our wolves, they will, um, like, magically spawn up here if you get too far away from them. Also, you really want to be careful for that knight because he does have a blood loss buildup. But killing him will give us a bloody slash Ash of War. We come over here, we get some blood rose. We can get rid of our wolves. We don't need them anymore. We just needed them for that night. It helped. Real quick, we're going to come down here and kill this guy. Get ourselves some flasks back. Get foot soldier gauntlets. Good stuff, good stuff. And then if we come over here on this side, we get ourselves a smithing stone. And then we want to come up here and climb the tower. Open up this chest and get ourselves the Dectus Medallion left. So we need to find the second half of that. Real quick, we're going to fast travel back to this eventually, but I want to put a few markers down. I want to put a marker down right here where Blythe is. And then right over here, I want to put another marker because there's a grace that we can get over here. And then one more by Kenneth Height. So, real quick, we're going to go over to the Church of Ella and talk to Kale. I'll see everybody over there.
Let's go ahead and talk to Kale real quick. Ah, it's you again. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? Let's ask him about the howling in the mistwood. The howl of a wolf in the mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. So he gives us the finger snap emote. Goodbye for now. What we're going to do real quick is go over to our gestures, hit triangle to switch it out, just like we did with our pouch. And then go over to finger snap, equip that. And then we're going to fast travel back over to the Fort Height Grace. So I'll see everybody over at Fort Height West. Okay, let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. And we're going to head straight towards marker number one. You're going to come up to the side of it right here. But we're not going to go up on this side. We're going to come around to the right of it. And you can crouch if you want just to make sure like you're not alerting the ruin bear. And if we come over here, we can use our finger snap emote. And we can meet Blythe. Let's go ahead and talk to Blythe real quick. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Okay. Now we want to head towards the second marker. We'll continue Blythe's uh, quest in just a bit. Not in this video, but as we progress through the walkthrough. Be very careful for this rune bear. I was not being very careful there. I ran right into that bear. Real quick, light this grace. Use torrent as a shield and run away. Run away. Going to the third marker here to talk to Kenneth Height again. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Ah, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the demi-humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. Even the Vulgar shall not be left behind. 
under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold the ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Let's go ahead and go to our map and we're going to fast travel to the third church of America and I will go over our um, golden seed and I will go over our wondrous flask of physics. So I'll see everybody at the third church of America. Okay, let's go ahead and rest at this grace real quick. We're going to go to our flasks and we can add a charge to our flask using the golden seed. So now instead of having four, we can have five flasks. You can also reallocate if you're playing as a spellcaster. You can put maybe one more into your um, Cerulean Tears. Again, I'm just going to stick with the Crimson Tear flask for now. And then right here we can mix our wondrous physic and we only have three crystal tiers to choose from. The spiked crack tier, well I guess they're not all crystal but regardless, <laughs> the spiked crack tier allows you to get even more damage or it's enhanced on all of your charged attacks. I don't use charged attacks enough to feel like this is worth it. But it may be worth it to you. This one will refill our stamina faster. And that's what we're going to use for now. We'll change it up eventually. But for now, the Crimson Crystal Tear and the Green Spill Crystal Tear are going to be in our Wondrous Flask of Physics. We can back out of here. And then I think we'll end the video right here in front of the statue of America. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.